Hello lovers. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with baby Noah and baby Noah is the Willow Asleep by Claire Teller dolls. He is a prototype number two which means he was totally completed by Claire Teller and um, painted, rooted, sculpted, <laughs> poured, all that great jazz. Um, so I'm going to get him in this little outfit that I've had for him for a while. Like that. It has the little button down, snap down in the back. And these little pantsies. Um, let me see. Um, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to be a part of the chatterbox which is full of fun um we do have exclusive live streams once a month at least and occasionally i do drop videos um you do have to be 18 years old or older to um be a part of that chatterbox um it is a dollar and 99 cents and all of that, your payment information, all that stuff is secured through um, YouTube. I don't handle any of that. I don't see any of that. Only thing I see is when you join. So, in case you guys were wondering about that. But, um, so anyway, so a lot of people are talking doll show now. And I am getting actually pumped and excited about it. Oh, look at all these little wrinkles in his little... As soon as he, like, as soon as you bend him just a little like he got all these wrinkles in his little legs when I did that but um yeah so anyway um so I'm getting really excited about the doll show um if I can I will attend both doll shows uh the Rose doll show and IDTS IDTS definitely will be the show that I hit because it's in Florida and, um, I don't know what days I'll get there or if I'll pop in and pop out just for the, you know, the walk the floor. But a lot of times when, you know, it's your first time, you know, you, you don't know what to expect and it's, you know, and a lot of people save up for the doll show. A lot of people, you know, turn down dolls waiting till they get to the doll show, um, and a lot of people may be trying to gauge like you know the prices of the doll show at the doll show and stuff like that now i am not going to give you any false hope or tell you that i know any inside story on the doll show um as far as their prices you never know what the prices are going to be until you get to the doll show unless you are friends with someone or something like that and they tell you but a lot of times I what I've seen the few times that I've been to different shows is that it varies um I've been to a show where I found that you got really good deals on dolls um and then I've been to shows where the dolls were way higher than what people normally sell for even outside of the show um, for instance, one lady dolls that don't sell over $500, $600, she had them mocked up to like over a thousand. Um, but then on the other hand, there were silicone, uh, babies and partial babies that were marked down and you got a good deal only at the show. Um, then there's also the, the fact that a lot of artists save their new stuff just to bring to the show so that it you know you have something new and fresh to see when you come to the show so that's that's another thing um i'll be very honest with you this is just my observation i see um a lot of people come back empty-handed um as far as dolls go they usually end up with accessories and stuff like that but don't ever think that that is not a good thing even as vendors if you don't sell well at your show 
don't feel bad because the doll show is a show and a lot of people come to look and see what your work look like in person um so i feel like you know it's definitely worth going so that you can see you know particular artists work in person versus camera video and what you're used to seeing you know and you can kind of gauge it a lot of times um people get a lot of sales after the show um you know um versus even at the show but some people do very well you'll see booths sell out and when they do normally do uh oh is he in the camera when they do do um i'm just showing how he can pose nicely um when they do do sales usually it's like on the last night now my suggestion to you on that is if you have the money and the price is good and it's not bad bad and and you really really want that baby don't wait till the last night because i've done that and did that with this one dog kept watching kept walking by kept walking by the booth and i was like okay it's still there it's still there it's still there all towards the end i was like okay it's still there it's still there so the next day i came because that's when everybody sort of vendors start trying to mark stuff down sometime and i was like okay okay went there where where where's that doll and the the vendor was like the seller was like oh it sold i was like oh my gosh i really wanted that baby and it was from a collector uh from a, a sculptor that i genuinely want a piece of her art in my uh in my um collection but i generally do not um I generally do not find um them done the way that this this particular one was painted. So I do suggest that you don't if it's something you definitely sure you want, um you might want to go ahead and talk to that that seller and ask, you know, even if you ask, hey would you accept such and such? Make an offer or something. Don't wait till the last minute. Um, because you might miss that one baby that you would have brought home. So I did that last last year, actually. So yeah, but definitely, you know, save up is, is a good thing. Um, one thing I don't do is if I see something before the show and I really, really want it, I don't wait until to see what's after the show because... I found a lot of times I've only I've only bought I'm trying to think have I ever I've only I bought one doll years ago at the show and it wasn't even uh at the sh it wasn't the show show doll it was actually um, someone else was supposed to be picking up the doll and then they, they canceled and that's how I ended up with the doll and, um, it wasn't, so that was years ago. Now they're like, oh, don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you sell in the lobby or anything like that. So, you know, you can't do that. But, um, this was years, years ago, but yeah, so, you know. Um, if you're thinking it's going to be cheaper, you know, you may find a good deal and you may not. That's all I'm going to say. Um, just don't go assuming that if you wait to the doll show, you're going to get the doll cheaper or you're going to find, you know, this magical dream baby for half the price. It don't work like that. Um. But the best part about it is what you see is definitely what you get because you get to see it. And it's, let me tell you something. I, I would love to be able to find a baby that I love at the show and walk away with it because I mean, how cool is that to know what you're getting? Um, I'll tell you what you will find too. It's a lot of cool accessories. 
I go and I buy all my bracelets. You find cool diaper covers, diaper, you know, carrying bags. You find a lot of different accessories at the doll show. So, me and these diapers, we just have a love-hate relationship. Don't, don't mind us. I want his belly button to show, even though he's been to have on. All right. So, um, but yeah. Um, the other thing is, if you're traveling, and you're traveling with your dolls, I did carry on. So my expensive, important babies, I carried on me in a carry-on bag, and I also. Um, this point here was not a good choice to lay him on because the fuzzies are sticking to him. Anyway, it was not a, um, a good idea to, um, put him on that blanket. But anyway, I did a carry on. Um, you know, I had a baby in a swaddle and then I had a baby in a bag like that. I did not put any of my babies in suitcases, but people have done it. I can't give you advice on that. Um, I say travel as light as possible. Um, one year I did, um, why is it not? It's not telling me. Anyway, one year I did, um, I completely lost my train of thought. I was saying about traveling, traveling. Uh, my alarm went off and it, it threw me off. <sighs> I hate when that happens. Anyway. Traveling with, was I saying travel light? So that you could bring stuff back. And, oh, yeah. One year I decided not to take a baby at all. And that was the year I attended banquets and all that stuff. And I really was kind of bummed out. And I think that's the year I bought a baby there because, you know, and I, I didn't buy it because of that reason. I had wanted that artist work really bad. And that was a great opportunity. But um, I wasn't particularly fond of the sculpt itself, but I was more so wanting that artist painting. Um, and I did that. I stopped doing that now because I, I realized I can't make myself love it if I don't love the sculpt. But no matter how good the painting is. But anyway. Um, so. I went there and I felt kind of left out because everybody was dressing their babies. Everybody was walking around with their babies. And I just kind of felt left out. I mean, I got to, you know, enjoy other people's babies and stuff like that. But it wasn't the same. So. If you can, you know, at least take you one baby, even if it's a little small one. Um, because part of the, the enjoyment of the show is meetups and meeting babies that you've followed, rather it's Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, um, meeting the mommies, hanging out. Sometimes they even take little out, you know, outside trips to Walmart, you know, or different, you know, places they'll travel as a group you know from the show so you know it's just not having a baby with you eh, you kind of feel a little left out <laughs> unless you know for sure that you're gonna buy a baby there you definitely gonna buy one and then even then if you get there a few days early I mean you most of the fun part is almost over and you'll be just getting your baby so but yeah, um, oh my god, this outfit fit him like perfect. And he looks so cute in it. Oh my goodness, look at how I love when it fits them perfect. Like in his waist area, this fits like right up on him. Wow, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's get your little toe right here, pushing out to the side here, there. Oh my goodness, look at you. Look at that. I found like more pacifiers and I, I forgot to tell you guys on the whole top of that drawer was pacif I mean pampers. 
I am a real addict. Let me see if he looks if he wants this pacifier. Let's see what he looks like in this pacifier. It was made in Germany. I think I just got it because it was made in Germany. Who, who knows? I do some weird stuff. Um when it comes to pacifiers and pampers. I buy for crazy reasons. But yeah, so yeah, so the doll show, the moral of the story is is that the doll show you may or may not find cheaper deals, but you definitely will probably more than likely enjoy the show and you will learn what artists you want to buy from. If you can't afford that baby at the show, definitely make sure and grab business cards so you don't forget. And write on the business card a note to yourself. You know, maybe put a minus if you really didn't like the artist, but you didn't want to hurt their feelings, but you took the card. You know, and plus if that's one you really like. A star if you definitely want to buy from this artist. Something. Do a cold system or something. Because I've gotten cards back and I'm like, who is this one? You know, when I get back. So, yeah. Um, so, that's the KY keeps you from having to squeeze their cheeks. Uh, let me see what you look like. No, it doesn't look good on him. Um, I don't like it. The, the Willows, um, uh, because of their cute little lipsies and stuff like that, and the position of their m mouth, I don't like every pacifier on them. So, I'm going to try this one. I rarely give my babies pacifiers, but sometimes I like to see them with a pacifier. Especially if I'm going out, I like for them to have a pacifier because it just looks, keeps them from just holding their mouth open or stuff like that. Sometimes it just looks more natural when you have them, their pacifier in. So that's, let's see what I think about that one. That one looks a little better. But he's definitely not a pacifier, baby. Anyway, so that is that, guys. Thanks for watching. And I look forward to seeing you guys with the next topic. Um, make sure you leave me a comment below. I do read all my comments. Um, once I heart it, I mean, I actually read it. Um, Sometimes I go back and reply. Sometimes I reply in videos. Um, and so, and if you have a certain topic or question you'd like for me to answer please leave that in the comment section as well because um sometime i do that and i'll try to get to your topic so again thanks for watching bye bye now